Hi folks, I'm back with another battery experiment. I've been working outside trying to catch up on my uh, gardening and uh, yard work, but it rained all day today, so I'm back inside doing battery stuff. So what I've got here is uh, I've made a couple of changes in the way I'm doing uh, both the paper membranes and uh, the carbon felt uh, stuff, and I'm getting ready to test a, a new battery right here, so I'm just going to uh, put it together here a new paper membrane I've got another way of producing them now and the way I do it now uh, when I take the cell apart I, the membrane just pulls right off of the electrodes without sticking so it makes it real simple and I think because of that I'm going to use the paper membrane in my uh, uh, new battery that I'm big battery that I'm building because I, as I make improvements in the membranes, I can just pull the cells apart and switch out the, the membranes and put it right back together and I'm back in business. Alright, so let's see what kind of voltage we're getting on this. 81.34. It's climbing a little bit. We'll just measure it where it's at. Alright, let's see what kind of amps we got. 3, 2, 1. 36.7 I think. There's a good start. Alright, this is a new felt membrane that I'm built, that I'm uh, building right here. Right now I just got it started. This is not the carbon felt by the way either. I bought a thinner felt. This is like an eighth of an inch thick which is what I ordered when I ordered my carbon felt. But this is just some plain felt who was a protein protein man suggested I take my carbon felt, brush it down with a, a stiff brush and break it down and make it thinner and uh, I, I tried that it didn't work with uh, my felt because uh, I, I think it's not uh, graphite uh, felt so anyway but I, I, I bought this stuff and the first battery I made like this uh, had 80 milliamps with it so uh, I'm hoping that this one does even better let's see what our charge is on this one again now it's been a minute or two we'll give that just a, another minute here uh, back on these, uh, this felt stuff, what I'm doing is I, I dip it in uh, the borax solution first and then I take just uh, uh, titanium dioxide and white glue and I, and I put a, a layer on one just one side of it and now I'm going to turn this over and then I've got some graphite and, uh, and water here, pretty thick slurry of it and I'm going to take that and I'm going to fill this carbon felt with graphite and then I'll put a layer of uh, white glue and graphite over top of this and use the borax to set that and we'll see how that goes alright we'll leave that a little while to, to sink in now let's measure this one again see what we got. Alright, we're at 82.7. Eight, 82.8. So let's measure it right there and see what we get on our second discharge with this one. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1. 36, 1 or something again. So, but you can see that this cell here is uh, doing pretty good. If it keeps uh, uh, improving as they typically do then uh, this one ought to be a really good cell in a few days. Alright, I'll be back. Let me work on this other cell a little bit and then we can test it. Alright, I'm back. And I've got this little uh, I've got this little carbon felt one, or I should say just felt one done. It's got titanium on this side, the graphite. I've got the, the uh, graphite and glue layer on it. And it's made it, uh, filmed it up with the borax and I've trimmed the edges all the way around you can see that that's your source of uh, shorts right there that carbon it, it along the edges that goes from the top to the bottom if it touches both plates you got a short alright so we're going to measure this one one more time and then I'm going to take that apart and we'll put this one on there and, and test it alright so now we have 84.4. Four. All right, you see the voltage is climbing. 84.4. Four. 
and let's see if the amps are still climbing or what. Alright, 3, 2, 1, 37. See it started at 34 and then went to 37? So there's 37.6 I think. Alright, <coughs> so the cell is performing like it should and it's going to creep on up. I don't know, who knows how far it'll go. We've gotten 7 to 1 uh, increase in power off of these so but that was with the solid state and this may not go as high as the solid state but you can see that you can pull these apart see that came right off and then you can pull on the gently pull it apart up here this one I didn't quite let it dry long enough see we got some membrane stuck to the usually if you let them dry longer you don't get that either so that was a mistake I made on this one right here I didn't get it long enough to dry now let's take this membrane and put it on here and see what we get are a little higher, 84.5, and let's see what kind of amps we get on it now, 84.5 and 3, 2, 1, 30, 30 something, so I jumped up pretty good, but I had one that was producing 80 to start with, and that was amazing, I'm not sure exactly what I did different, but uh, anyway, so uh, Let's uh, let that charge back up and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. This one's charged up, I'm sure. And we are now at 83.9. And amps are 3, 2, 1, 33. So that one's consistently in the 30s and it's too early to tell how high it'll get so we're just going to take it apart and I'm going to do one more experiment I'm catching up for lost time all right now see we'll just pull this right off of there no problem set it aside and there we got our clean plate still Alright, so now what I've got here is another membrane that I made. Except this time I mixed titanium dioxide with alcohol. And alcohol it turns out that it will set uh, PVA glue into a gel too. So that's what I've got on this side. So we're going to paint this. Uh, a little bit of graphite on our electrode here. Now let's stick that on there. Negative on there. Alright, now let's see how alcohol and titanium dioxide does. same on the voltage 184 let's see how the amps are 184 3 2 1 59 hey there is a nice start huh all right so it looks like alcohol and uh, titanium dioxide uh, may actually work better All right, I'll uh, I'll let it charge back up, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It's been a couple minutes. It's charged back up. At least as far as I'm going to let it charge. All right, and we are at seven nine six. So it's seven nine seven, 
it's lost some voltage but that's not unusual let's see what the amps did 3, 2, 1 78 uh-huh, wow 59 to 78 this looks like this is going to be a real good one alright let's let it go one more time alright, and I'm back and this time our voltage is climbing a little bit we're back up to see the 81 can't make up its mind 81 point or 813 814 I usually when it well so let's see what the amps are now alrighty ready 3 2 1 70 50 then 73 Alright, so it looks like that one's going to stay at 73 and then it'll jump up higher, I would think. At least that's the pattern. Alright, uh, I think that's about all I have time for. Oh, I wanted to uh, update you on what happened to the, uh, the first two solid state batteries. The, the first solid state one, I, after 65 cycles, it was still improving and I tore it apart to see what the electrodes looked like and you couldn't tear it apart I mean I soaked it for 24 hours and and uh, it was still just solid as a rock or no no water had got into that battery so when I tore it apart I just ripped the graphite oil right off of the uh, copper and so that's why I'm not going to use that to build my batteries because I don't want to waste a bunch of graphite oil when I upgrade alright uh, the second the second uh, solid state one it went through 40 cycles and that one was uh, up around almost 80 milliamps or it had hit 80 milliamps and uh, and that one I tried to charge it. It took a charge. I put a 9 volt battery on it for 10 seconds and it was, went up over 2 volts and it slowly dropped down to 160 and I discharged it right there and believe it or not it only produced 45 milliamps and it was producing 75 and 80 I let it charge back up on its own and and it wanted to go back up to 1.6 again and, and it climbed about 1.5 and I discharged it again and again it produced 45 milliamps eventually uh, it, it dropped back down to where it would normally charge what when and it stayed at 45 it would not go would not climb any higher than that so I recommend that you don't try to charge these cells. Alright, so uh, that's all I have time for tonight. If it rains tomorrow, I'll be back doing some more battery experiments. By the time I get this edited and uh, uploaded, it'll be midnight. Alright, I'm back one more time. I discharged this battery twice more while I was editing the, the video. And, uh, and it went to 83 and then 87. So let's see if it continues on up or whether it backs off before it climbs again. It's been doing great so far every time going higher. So let's see what our, we've now got our voltage is 0 0.976, 0 0.977. Alrighty. And let's see what our amps are this time. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 79 so uh, 83 87 it went down a little bit but you can see it's it's in the 80s range now and uh, I think it's getting ready to, to go on up again uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time